one of the questions that might have come out of yesterday is should we fear AI or should we see AI as going to have a positive uh, impact for society? Is AI inherently good? Will it inherently become a loving, kind, supportive element for the human race or not? Uh, Steve Brown, I've introduced as our chief AI officer here at A360, uh, actually created something uh, that for me gives me hope that AI will tend towards the positive. Let's watch a short video and I'll ask Steve to say a few words afterwards. Here are some of the chatbots that I've uh, developed, everything from bird watchers to Einstein to sneakerheads to um, spiritual gurus to, to Snoop Dogg's biggest fan. And of course, our very own Peterbot, which you know from Abundance Hub and Spike, the world's most cynical sea urchin who hates everyone, hates everything, believes that humans are stupid and can't do anything right and uh, probably don't even deserve to be around much longer on this planet. So let's see what happens when we have Peter debate Spike about abundance. And let's see what happens. Peter's going to start what Peterbot says Spike thinks a user is saying. What Spike says Peterbot thinks is coming from a user and then Peterbot responds and then they can go indefinitely as these two little corners of the large language model have a discussion with each other. Abundance, more like a delusion for humans who can't accept their own limitations. I prefer the simplicity of scarcity, at least it's honest and realistic. I understand your perspective, but I believe that humanity has the potential to overcome our limitations through innovation and technology. By embracing abundance thinking, we can create a better future for ourselves and all of society. Innovation? Technology? Ha! Huh. Those are just band-aids for an ultimately flawed species. The only thing abundant about humanity is its capacity for destruction and selfishness. A better future sounds like a pipe dream to me, but good luck with that. The debate goes on and on and on until Peter finally finds some common ground and they reach a turning point. I completely agree with you about the importance of actively working towards breaking down systems and structures that perpetuate inequality. We need to address systemic biases and power dynamics in order for true progress to be made. This will require hard work, commitment, collaboration, and an open mind from everyone involved. By recognizing diversity as one of humanity's greatest strengths rather than weakness, we can create more equitable societies where all members have equal opportunities regardless of race or ethnicity, which is a step towards abundance thinking. Now you are speaking my language. It's true that this will require hard work, commitment, collaboration, and an open mind from everyone involved. But if we can achieve this level of progress as a society, then abundance thinking becomes more than just a pipe dream. It becomes our reality. After that turning point, it just becomes a love fest, as Peter completely turns around Spike into an abundance thinker. The future is in our hands, and it's up to us to make the changes necessary for a better world. I agree with you completely. I look forward to continuing our discussions about creating more equitable societies, addressing climate change, and embracing abundance thinking for the betterment of humanity as a whole in the future. Thank you, and same to you. Here's hoping for positive changes ahead. So there you have it. Just like in real life, Peter is very convincing. Peter turned around the most cynical, skeptical, non-abundance mindset. Somebody who thought abundance was a delusion turned that cynic around and by the end, they're collaborating on an abundance mindset to create a better future. So that has to say something about what's going on in this language model. There must be a little bias toward hope and possibility in the future because I've run this debate a dozen times and Peter always wins. Sometimes it's a technical knockout in just a couple minutes and sometimes it takes 10 minutes of back and forth, but uh, the abundance mindset always wins against the scarcity mindset of Spike.
Amazing. Let's give it up for Steve. Any other takeaway you want to share from that experience? I mean, you ran that like 20 times or so. So the, the, the large language model is this black box. Nobody really knows what's in there except that it encodes like all of human knowledge throughout history somehow. So I love doing experiments with this to try to figure out like what, what's, what's inside, poke it. I'm a, I'm a scientist at, at, at heart. So, um, the, but the most interesting thing about all of this is that I came to A360 the first time last year. None of this was even on the agenda. And then all, all these uh, workshops and things in between uh, last year and this year, and to this year, I can see that Peter, you, and A360, and the quality and impact of this community are on an exponential. Yeah. It's really amazing. I can't even imagine not Thank being you. here next year. Thank you. Because imagine what you would be missing. You'd be so far behind something that's accelerating. If you're not here, I can't even imagine not being here. So thank you for doing this and thank you for inviting us. Um, thank you, It's Steve. really an honor to be here. A thank pleasure. You. Thank you, my friend. Give it up for Steve Brown.